everyone, this week is all about how to be a leader and how to lead by example. Hey everyone, this week is all about leadership and how to lead by example. Warren Bennis said, leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. Jim, I think that sets the tone, as all of our quotes generally do, that if you want to lead, if you want to grow yourselves, you have to show people how it's done first. You do. You can't just go out there and say, hey, by the way, I'm a gold digger and never actually find gold. That's right. So essentially with sales, it's, it's the same aspect is you have to go out there and you have to put in the, the leg work. You have to go there and show people that you actually care about growing sales. Show that you care about growing the company. Not just do it only for yourself, not only for your own benefit, but to grow the company as a whole. And people will see that and they'll respect you for it. Well, one of the things we're trying to do even just with this podcast is lead by example. We still sell every single day. Every and day. this right now is being filmed on a Sunday night because nine to five, we're out there hustling. This is stuff that's working right now. We don't get paid for this. We don't get paid for this. <laughs> you couldn't even pay us if you wanted to. But we wanna share this information. We wanna grow a community of young, old, middle-aged salespeople, the whole group, to start communicating and sharing things that are working. Become leader in your own workplace and share with others how you do that. That's right. And one of the ways, I mean, I think the big thing about being a leader that a lot of people don't talk about is that one, it's not sexy. No. And two, it's just doing the little things all the time, doing them really, really, really well. And half the time you're not, most people won't even see when you are truly being a leader. It's not something That's that right. people are gonna see every day and give you respect for and say, hey, hey, good job, good job. A lot of times you will get respect eventually, but it takes time to prove that you're a leader and that you actually are willing to put in the work to do so. That's right. I mean, a couple of little leadership tips that I would have is be a servant leader. Yeah. I mean, take the time to get to know your people, take the time to help them. One of my mentors shared with me, he said, you know, leadership isn't that hard, Josh. He said, all it is is day after day, going to the people that support you, say, what's the hardest thing you're dealing with today? And helping them accomplish that. And by doing so, yeah, you need to focus on your own tasks too, but once you start to help other people and uh, unify them behind the vision that you have, now you're getting somewhere. Being available and showing that you care. Um, another aspect I was going to add to this piece too is congratulating other people when they make a sale or when they're doing well. Many times when you're in sales and when you're actually just really going after the grind, it's hard to recognize other people and, and, and their achievements. So by recognizing that and giving people some type of, hey, congratulations, goes a long way that it doesn't make you seem like it's selfish and it's all about you either. So that's a good sign of a leadership is really pushing the team as well as people around you. That's right. Taking the time to acknowledge progress. Correct. It's one of the things I really, really struggle with, but it's something that when I do it, the whole team does a better job. Of course, and we're not saying that we're, we're the number one leaders out there. We're not Napoleon running around conquering countries. But <laughs> it's, it's a topic that we try to remember every single day and try to work into our daily uh, tasks and interaction with our, our, our staff, our support team, and peers, really. Yeah. So I wanna know from the community in the comments, I would love to hear ways that we can be better leaders at creating this community, as well as some of the ways that they have seen good leaders lead or if they are a leader or in a leadership role how they are leading daily Correct. because I think information needs to be shared around this topic we love feedback we love interaction what works for us may not work for you but at least it gets everybody thinking along the same lines of becoming better and becoming a leader so a couple quick takeaways from all this is is be humble um, show that you care to other people check in with people make sure that they know you're available and that you care about making sure that they're doing the best at what what their job is or their position is also, um, congratulate people if they've achieved something. Make sure you're aware of what they're doing and, and trying to provide some type of motivation back and forth that goes a long ways. And uh, last, lastly, um, just just check in on a constant basis. Communicate with people. Let them know that um, you're trying to help them out in what they do on a daily basis. So, like I said, please give us feedback. Let us know what's working for you guys. We will continue to probably have more episodes on leadership and and small different things that we do on a daily basis. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you next week. See you then. Over this one. Say Tell what up, what up, what up. Lead by example, yo. You looking in my eye.